showed their video a good couple of months ago. They've wasted no time in releasing a new single, Shaker Maker. Noel and Liam from Oasis. Right. Thanks for interrupting your hectic, uh -huh. hectic schedule, uh -huh. even, and taking time out and uh, meeting up with us. Um, let's talk about how you lot got signed initially because you didn't have to sort of go through the old um, sending out the demo tapes, did you? No, no. We just we got signed by fate, you know. It's one of them. Well, but, well they dropped us after uh, uh, the first single that never come out yeah. and then uh, Jason signed us. <laughs> well, what was the story? Fate, fate Records. <laughs> what was the story with creation? Because Alan McGee saw you. Well, at, in, at in the beginning, Gary, right, there was a, a, like a big bang from the sun. Mm -hmm. Apparently it was so gases and stuff, and then these things crawled out of the sea and turned into monkeys, which then turned into men. Which then turned into wolf. Uh, and then everything was all right up some until, until Man United won the double. No, right, yeah. let's be serious now, right. Yeah. You come with a gig, yeah? Right. And didn't you, like, hijack the gig, though? No, well, we didn't. We didn't. No, we went there like normal people just to go do a gig, you know, and a good sound about it, and then some bloke goes, oh, you're not, you would have, you would have, who are you? I'm like that. Ah, you're a racist, mate. And he's like, oh, I've never heard you. I was like, ah, yeah, no. No one has, you know what I mean? He's like, right, and we're not playing. He's like, ah, yeah, but you said we could play. We've, so, someone said it was sorted. You know what I mean? Then he said we couldn't, and then we was like, ah, right. You got let's play, man. <laughs> he's like, no, we're not. You better let's play, man. Same, you know what I mean? And then, we sneaked on, sort of, and done four songs. And then, man, that was before the club had even opened. There was a couple of people hanging about, and McGee was one of them. And he just, something just hit him, man, or whatever. Don't know. That's the stuff of sort of fairy tales, though, really, isn't yeah. it? I but mean, it's the truth, and no one believes us. I mean, what was your reaction to sign into creation? I mean, you know, Liam, you said you didn't really know that much about the label. No, I didn't. But then when I found out, who, you know, what was on it, I'm like, I'm not saying anything on it. It's good. Except for maybe sc the screen. And, oh, I'm not saying anything, you know what I mean? Whatever. And I thought, well, yeah, it's the right kind of label for us, you know what I mean? I mean, could you believe, so, though, that in a, in a way that it was so easy? I mean, I'm sure there's probably a lot of... You know, people are watching this who are in bands who have been, you know, banging out the um, mm, yeah. tapes to record companies no, not, for years. It's not easy. And like people go, oh yeah, man. Well, you know, someone asked me, how did I, how did, word, how did we go yeah. about, how did we go about and get this deal? And we didn't go out anyway. It was just one of them things. And we're lucky enough that it happened. Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, can I say it. something now? No. Man, it's no one of them things. I write all the songs. You know, you walk down the road, you trip over, you break your leg, and you're gutted. <laughs> you know, one of them things well, like what we, do, we do a gig for four, you know, do four songs and he comes up and takes us away. I'm after it, oh, what a bit of star, you know, but not, you know, you know the score. I'm after it, I'm after it, sorry. I'm after it, I want to be in a... I'm before it. I want to be in a, like, a, I don't know. When you say you want to be a star, I mean, you know, I don't want to be like, star no, I don't want to be an old, big, big star. Yeah, a big, nice star, yeah. That's what I want to be, I want to be myself. I find it hard sometimes, but, you know, get there. That's it. No, no, Make loads of money and all that, so I can have a big house somewhere and all that, you know, and that's about it. Probably not anywhere near my big house. Yeah. <laughs> Next door, matey. No chance. It's no, the band was called Oasis before I joined. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we got called... together about, you know, a month or something. Yeah, well, about two months or something, but we, ne we never done right, a gig. You know, we never done a gig. <laughs> <laughs> never done a gig. And it was, we were, we were, we were, we were, we were, yeah, that's it. But we've never done a lot of gigs. We don't want to And it wasn't doing anything, and I, kni I knew it weren't doing anything. We needed it. The band. It. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, ah, and that's why I got so like in it. I thought, once I put my foot in the door, our kid will come home and be gutted because that's what he's up for. But, you know, he finds it hard being himself nowadays and that. Oh, yeah. Or them days and that. Oh, yeah. So like, I knew, once I got in there, he'd be up for it. So he'd come along and he had the songs which we needed because we needed Great the song right I mean, it's like, I owe my career to this man. No, you don't. Diamond. And they went round and said, here's your tape. What do you think of this, man? Thinking might, that he might like it, but he went, you part of shit, man. You know what I mean? I was like, I was like, well, you, you know, you stop sitting on your ass all day and get out there and do them songs you've been writing and that. So then you did. When did you sort of realise, now, uh, um, what time did you realise that, you know... me this question, right? Yeah, let's bring him in right. there. <laughs> <laughs> the mean moody one with the glasses. When did you sort of realise that, you know, the sound was beginning to sort of gel and that, you know, you had something that was, uh... Af after about a year and a half, and then we just wrote a couple of, uh... Blinders. A couple of, uh, stonkers. <laughs> stonkers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Count of diamonds. About four or five years ago, I mean, Manchester was, you know, the place, I and mean, there was a real upsurge of bands. Mm. Um, 
What were you guys doing when all that was going on? Was that four or five years ago? Uh, <laughs> oh, don't let me interrupt your interview here, kid. You carry on. <laughs> right, I was just... Uh, <clears throat> I was going out, me, going to a few gigs, seeing a few bands, and judging from me, you know, and going, oh, I want to be in a band, you know what I mean? And I think, well, I don't want to be in that kind of band. I don't want to be in that kind of band, but I wouldn't mind being in sort of like that kind of band, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And that was it. What, what sort of influence do you think, you know, that scene um, has left? I mean, you know, do you think... I, I don't think it's left any. You don't think it's left a legacy or anything like that? Well, probably the best thing to come out of that scene was... I mean, I dare to say it, but the only band that started up because of what the Stone Roses were doing was us. You know what I mean? So I suppose if there's a legacy left, it's us, I suppose. Yeah. Could Oasis Probably. come from any other city around the country? I mean, are they integrally part of Manchester and what's oh, happened? No, 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 we could so. have come, any. No. But then again, we wouldn't be us, you know. We wouldn't. We would. But we wouldn't. We'd sort of like, if we'd be from London, we'd be sort of like London boys, wouldn't we? You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean, we're not no Manchester, you know. We're, hey, we're, we're here to bring, you know, I've got baggy pants on today, but I'm not no baggy. I've seen a lot of nice girls coming to our gigs, and it's bloody nice to see it. Telling you, but I suppose there's a lot of lads coming because of like, the, like thinking we're this mad hooligan band and we're not. I ain't no hooligan. I'm just me. And they're probably coming to see like this like little yeah whatever you know like where the ball and all that, but they're not gonna see that. Is that is that exactly what you asked them? Sort of. Like, I'll, I'll, just I'll, 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 I'll just laugh at you saying you're not a hooligan, but you, you know, I've, I've read bits in there where you said I like fighting me. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm up for it. I'm not. No, I don't go out of my way. I'm not like yeah, yeah, big bullies tackle. You know what I mean? Like one of them and that. If someone comes your way and they want to, you know, then I'm up for it. Because you've got to be on you. It's a tough, tough world out there. There's one story that um, there was a row between two members of Oasis because they went and played with Whiteout or something. Is that yeah. true? So it was. It was. It was, it was true. Joker, but they man. reckon Joker. I got beat up by him and the bass player, and I didn't because they're not capable of it. What's it like being brothers in a band? Speechless, look. Look at that. It's all right. I think it's all right, mate. I think it's very, very funny. I mean, if you row, what sort really? of things do you row about? Everything. Everything. We don't even have to row. All we've got to do is look at each other in a certain kind of way, and we row. Without even, like, opening our mouth. It's just going inside our heads, you know what I mean? And we go off. <laughs>